I'm still too scared of like absorb soul or anything else that the opponent might have. Okay, but because we have the rider negation now, it makes things a little bit different. Because we're gonna go like this. It's gonna be six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the least thing by himself is OTK in the opponent. We have the rider negation to back it up. Uh, yeah, we'll pull. I guess we'll go like this. Um, We'll pull this guy, attack with the rest. We'll have Ryan Negation Bally. This is 20 right here because of the Overwall. Hey, everyone, Sir Terran here again. And it wouldn't be an eternal season without someone trying to make Lee Sin one turn kill work. And that's what we're trying to do here, right? If you're not familiar with this Lee Sin action deck, the whole idea is that you try to level up your Lee Sin champion, and then you're able to have this little card here called Absorber to give Lee Sin Overwhelm. And all of a sudden, you have a unit that can deal 16, 18, 20 damage to the opponent Nexus in a single turn. So this is what this deck is about. It's an action leasing deck. Uh, again, in the early game, we use action with Swinging Glaive to just get this value, get a lot of spells, etc. So that we slowly level up leasing and then drop leasing and just win the game from there. Simple as that. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's see how often we get this OTK. If you like today's video, make sure to like it below. And subscribe to us we post card game videos every single day enjoy the games and i'll see you at the end for some mulligan tips and in-depth breakdown in this match we're gonna against halio oh elder dragon and garen so hmm. you have the least sin i think we want to look for this action okay we have the action we don't have the swinging clip but we do have the shape stone to sort of protect the action the annoying part in this matchup is uh, the, the Magical Feathering, right? The Suppressions, they're nice to level up my list in, but they're very bad because I rely on all these spells that I'm playing. So we'll go action, and if the opponent has Broadwin into something else, then they have Broadwin into something else. Okay, it's not a Broadwin, it's a Sculpture. So that's great for us because it means that you're not really going to have a lot of value. Do we develop this Bastaya right now? Well, that's a bit better. I guess they're gonna play another unit here first, right? All right, let's get to work. Let's go here. Let's let them kill this Avenging Bastaya if they want to. Otherwise, I'm just gonna shape stone the action. Steady hands. You should attack with both, right? There's no reason not to. So we just shape stone the action here. We keep it alive a little bit longer. Now, I'm still worried about Fire Spitter, right? We don't have the Swinging Glaive. So it's not like this action is doing a lot anyways. We can pass. Or we can go here. Let's pass first. Let's see what the opponent does. Because the Siphoning Strike is kind of hot. This Siphoning Strike is kind of hot. We can just level up action, though. For justice, okay, yeah, so this is an easy... This is an easy action, like though. Like talk is we so we go like this. Do. I guess opponent still has value here with this Garen. Do we ever swing in Glaive? It's so tempting, but it's so easily destroyed by a, by a, by a strike or a health buff. The Siphoning Strike is so nice, but it's such a bait. It's such a bait. We know we can deny it, right? Any strike that the opponent does, but we're not denying it anytime soon. Do it. If we block here, we're not accomplishing much, are we? I guess we're saving ourselves five health. We're not accomplishing much. Let's get the leasing. Not a listen. I guess let's get the quicksand. Let's get the listen. That's not a listen. I guess let's get the absorber for now. Set up for when we do get the listen. So when we do get the listen, we should be okay. This quicksand should protect me against their formidable units later. Um. 
This also allows me to attack, right? Villains beware. Like, opponent can now block this with Garen. Yeah, so this lets me attack for free. Opponent can have Fire Spitter here. Let's it's going to be a Brow win. Uh, do we go Saffron Strike now? The opponent still has enough to, like, punish us. I feel like I'm waiting too long. I'm waiting too long to do things. I got to go here. I got to go here, and there we go. This might lead Sin. And we just have to try to have lethal on the next turn. Balan. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna play Lee Sin. We're just gonna play Lee Sin and just win the game with Lee Sin. Balan is annoying. There is a lot of damage. My action is obviously gonna die. Might have to give up my... Uh, deny as well, potentially. Probably not, right? The opponent's gonna have Garen level up too. Opponent could have a strike to prevent them from dying to the Lee Sin. Challenger? If I play Lee Sin now, I'm inviting the opponent to just kill us. I like the second Lee Sin, right? I like having access to this. Racing any strikes. We know you're gonna level up. You have to challenge this. You have to challenge this every single time. You have to challenge this. Do we ever quicksand? Do we ever quicksand? Do we ever quicksand now to keep this alive? Still losing, right? I think we just say okay. He said enough. With the leasing resonating strike and the coin, it might be enough. Only I can endure the dragon. My concern here is if I have to use like I'm gonna have to use Absorber here potentially for for a single combat. Unless the opponent targets one of these guys. Wait, that just helps me, you know? Doesn't that just help me level up? Sure. I mean, not like I needed it, but still. Not like I needed it. Alright, so... What do I lose to? I lose to the opponent having... Any strike that can kill their own unit. So... Any strike that can kill their own unit let, lets the opponent get there. So we have to get to at least eight. If we go to eight damage and pull Garen, we should be okay. And this will be exactly eight, right? So we can just go like this. Yeah, we just go like this. This is seven. Um, I don't know, man. We can, let's go here. Let's just go here. So this is eight. So even if the opponent has one strike, one strike is not enough. Our enemies cannot hide. And then we're gonna draw here. Can also go spell shield. Probably wanna go spell shield to be honest. We beat Yeah, if we go spell shield, we beat the strikes, right? We beat a double strike. Well that's not true because the opponent can still do their thing. So the opponent will have to have three strikes to deal with this. By putting myself at 10, the opponent can not... I guess they, they only need two strikes. No, because one of them hits this. One of them hits the least in spell shield, right? So they need to literally have three strikes. There's no way for them to kill their own Garen without having three strikes to go through my least in spell shield and barrier. So, GG's. In this match, we're gonna against a seer and Relia. So we need to look for Eye of the Dragon. I feel like we, we did we did eat action or Eye of the Dragon, and we didn't get either of them, and that feels bad because action would level up really quickly, blocking those sand soldiers over and over again. 
Okay, we get the action at least. And the added dragon, of course, gives us that additional blocker that we need for every turn. Check out these so, unfortunately, your opponent kind of gets the curve. So, uh, do they have this? Do they have the dais here too? See what we see. Not exactly dais. I don't need rules to know. Good I have to go that. throw this away. And punch. Yeah. Oh, come now. Yeah, we'll block it. Uh, Oh, you know what would be so good here? Swinging Glaive. Swinging Glaive. Come on, Swinging Glaive. Okay, well, it's not a Swinging Glaive. But it's the Eye of the Dragon that I was talking about. Show them no weakness. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and play the Eye of the Dragon now. We might just go quicksand into that Irelia, to be honest. Just get rid of her that way. Wish I had a way to actually enable this. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to go place your bets, to be honest. Place your bets and coin. That's it. That's so nasty. Yeah, that's so nasty. Yeah, we'll go place your bets here. There's that swinging glaive. Doesn't really even matter at this point. Um, I guess it kind of does. Kind of does. We can go here. Gonna force the opponent to like if they go for the flawless do F first, I can block them both. And if I find the health here, I can actually block the sand soldier. And action will level up next turn. Help helpful tough. Doesn't matter, right? Yeah, it won't matter. 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14. Do we just take 14 here? Let's risk it all. Let's risk it all. We'll have the heal here. We will need one more spell. Yeah, we're going to need one more spell here to make this work. Because we will need to have another... We need to have a Dragon Link for next time. We definitely want to kill this Irelia with Lee Sin. Is that true? Or do we just go here? Because what I'm scared of is going to be... There's a couple of spells, right? I'm, I'm thinking about the, the one that bounces your unit back. That's kind of scary. So maybe it's actually Bastaya to start with, and we have access to Grappling Hook after we attack with the action. Yeah, so we, we probably go like this. We'll, we'll go Grappling Hook you on the Ivelia. So I guess we can predict first, see what we get. And Worth This Soul is not bad. Might actually need it. Because I need to be able to keep mana for... Yeah, so I, I, I might need the Wolfy Soul. We'll go like this. And if the opponent plays anything that bounces my units back, I can just go ambush Bastaya, right? So they're not able to play that the... The, the five mana spell. Which is really the biggest thing. We heal back to five. And we get another out of the dragon. So even though going to three... That's a wrath? Is this also worth flocking? I think so. I think this is also worth, worth countering because it means that the opponent, the deserts, the uh, the sand soldiers are not doing a lot. And we can attack like this. We get the. We already have the other uh, dragon enabled. Now, now I wish I've grabbed my Rider Negation earlier, by the way, but it's okay. Opponent blocking here means that the opponent won't have access to one less unit for them to attack with. Yeah, so that's one less unit for them to attack with. Their Sand Soldiers are still... I mean, I guess we have Quicksand, so it's okay. But like, come on, man. Really? Yeah, we have the Quicksand. They really stays alive. Should I have killed? Should I have not negated that and should I just kill the Irelia? 
I don't know. So the problem here is that quicksand, I guess, okay, we if the opponent goes for the blades first. Yeah, so they go for the blades first, right? That lets me block here and here. And we can actually grappling hook one of their units. Is that safe? Is it safe for me to grappling hook their unit? I don't know that it's safe, to be honest. I think I have to wait, because I might need them worth the soul mana. We know we're going to quicksand. This is still not leveling up, right? So this is still not leveling up. This thing is going to win us again next turn. I guess that's not true, because opponent could have the, the blade, the, the, the recall. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. So now we can block here and block here. I guess it doesn't really matter, right? But we can block like this. Right, so we can block like this. And now we know that we can blossom and play Dairelia. I mean, sorry, that we can uh, grappling hook Dairelia. Yeah, let's go plus one, plus one. That actually lets me block the student. We go grappling hook here. And opponent doesn't get to level up Irelia. And we have this quits, and remember, right? So the, uh, the eye of the dragon Everyone means nothing to us. So the eye of the dragon means nothing to us. Yep, you go for it. You're gonna go for everything? Alright, so then we just go like this. And you lose the game. You must have known that I had that. Like, I made it pretty obvious that I had a quick sound by not targeting the elusive. So, uh, yeah, we can go... Sent Actually, you know what we can do? We can give everything spell shield. So that when we play Lee Sin next turn, we're still okay. We could have given a challenger, by the way. But I guess we just win here, right? Yeah, we just win here with just action, not even Lee Sin. Ooh! That was honestly, I see it really is always so nerve wracking to go against. And it's crazy that we didn't even get to play Lee Sin here. So, GG's. In this matchup, we're going against Jens and Lulu. You don't have a lot of blockers. I'm gonna throw the bag of one away because I'm desperately looking for a one drop. There we go, one drop, and we got the two drops, etc., etc., etc. So we can have this one drop and go like this. We don't have a two drop, so we're gonna skip. This gives me a blocker early on. I'm gonna tell you what, we attack here. Let the opponent block this. Yeah, because they probably have chumpers or something else. That's why they didn't even bother. Not great. Not a great hit. Not a great hit. We'll play the second Bakai. Hopefully we get the action this time. We still don't get anything. So we skip. Yeah, so the fact that they're not blocking means that they have like something else here, right? We do get the action this time. I'm gonna just push four damage. Let the opponent decide if they want to block. They do want to block this time. They go for Lulu. We'll drop the action. Even if the opponent has the way to kill this action. I want to get this landmark starting. Right? I want to get this landmark beginning, right? Yeah, so they're going to go for Chumpers. What I can do is that I can actually just go here. And just get rid of the Lulu. And the Chumpers won't do anything. I don't want to play the Swinging Glaive until I have access to uh, to uh, a Shape Stone, by the way. Because the opponent can just kill the action with anything else. Yeah, so the Spirit Portal is one of the annoying ones that I was worried about. So at least we block most of the damage. Yeah, it sucks losing action, but we, we, have, to, we have to take whatever we can get. That's a great draw. Yep, so now we go. The problem with Eye of the Dragon is that she's just gonna die here, right? She's gonna die to this freaking Lulu. 
We don't have enough cards to play her. I guess let's go like this. We might just go swinging glaive on the eye of the dragon, to be honest. We might just go swinging glaive on the eye of the dragon. It sucks that we got the eye of the dragon, but we don't have the spells to get our our little dragon link. Yeah, so since they went like this, I'm just gonna go swinging glaive here. And I'm just gonna attack. And at least get my Warlord's Palace enabled. What this is gonna force is it's gonna still force the opponent to attack here. Onto the eye of the dragon, but at least it, it potentially gets me the help to have her survive. If we get tough here. Tough or health? Let's go tough. Let's go tough. She still survives. And if the opponent does anything, I can just play a Benjamin Bastaya. This is still 3 sets 8 damage though, which is a problem. Yeah, so the opponent can pull it. And she's still gonna live. If the opponent develops, I guess I just go Forsaken Bakai. The idea is that we can play place your bets and the, um, the thing here. If you go for a damage first, all right, so I guess I'm just gonna go like this. Yeah, I'm just gonna go like this. And I guess force you to have to find another way to kill my stuff. The opponent just wants to pull both units, right? So it makes sense. We'll go for second by that here. And we'll get this action, right? Makes the most sense. It's, like it's, a, it's another blocker. They can have another removal and they can kill the eye of the dragon if they have like another damage spell into into the attack with one of the chumpers. It sucks because I might not have any units here. Whimsy? Oh wow, okay. I mean, sure. I think mean, that works. And you can kill this one and kill the other one. You're gonna give me the Lulu? You you really you really gonna give me this Lulu, huh? So I have to block this, right? Because I'm not killing this unit, and the Lulu is presenting more damage. We have the action, so we'll know we'll trigger this no matter what, right? The opponent has one card left. Jumpers to pull with. We go action. Trigger this Warlord's Palace. Get the Predict. Find another out of the Dragon, and we'll chill. Surely that's exactly what's going to happen here. That is not another Eye of the Dragon. We're gonna skip. Find us keepers. That is not anything that I need. <laughs> We're gonna go here. Probably should have just gone honestly for place your bets, but I do like the grappling hook access here. So I do like this grappling hook access. Yeah, I guess we'll go for tough. Let's go for it. I don't care if the opponent has gents or anything else. I want to make sure that I kill this squire. Everyone should have a grappling hook. If they have the gents, they have the gents. Yeah, they don't have it, so we're gonna go like this. Uh, I guess we'll go for challenger. It doesn't really matter, right? Yeah, we'll go for the challenger. We're one away from triggering this warlord's horde. Opponent has two damage. I'm pretty sure they just have a bunch of. Uh, it looks to me like they have a bunch of burn, right? So they have a bunch of burn in their hand. So what I need to find is... We're gonna draw, right? So we're gonna draw here. This is our Benjamin Bastaya. So this is what I need to find, right? So we can go like this. 
So now we're able to deny the burn. We're gonna go lucky fine. Let's protect this a little bit more. Yeah, so so at this point I can give this plus two health, protect that, and now we have a way to deal with the burn. If we didn't draw the Bastille there, I would have gone for place your best and try to find my right of negation on my Bastille. Because that's the only way that the opponent beats us there now, is just finding the burn. Uh, which they ended up not like even if they had it we ended up finding the Bastaya so geez in this match we're gonna against Shadow Owls and Bilgewater with no champions what is the opponent cooking why is the opponent cook I'm gonna keep my listing in my action just keep my champions I'm trying to think is it like an undying deck we have the absorber with Lee Sin, so we just need to level up Lee Sin and Absorber will take care of the rest. We don't have a lot of spells though, so I guess that could be a problem. Like, what is this? There's so many options. It could be like, oh, wait, Ephemeral. So it's an Ephemeral deck? We don't have Shapes then, unfortunately. Maybe we should have Threaten it there? I'm so confused. I'm actually confused what I'm going against. It always makes it harder. When I don't know the opponent's deck, I don't know what I need to play around, right? A lot of what you guys think is my skill level is all about... What, what, what is going on? What are we What are we playing against? Uh, uh, okay. A lot of my quote-unquote skill level is all about... Just how well I know the opponent, like what people are playing, right? Ooh, this doesn't work. It has to be like this. Yeah, if you have, if you have quicks, uh, if you have, uh, what is it? Glimpse? You have Glimpse. I'm not gonna play around Glimpse here. Hay Spike, Death Grass. There's a million things here that can stop this. So Soul. What is going on? What is going on? Okay. Okay. Another monkey business. I'm gonna attack. Let them block with the monkey. That still gives me the value here. What is going on? So it's just a monkey deck. Monkey say, monkey do. I might give them this blocker, to be honest. We still quite a bit, of, quite a bit away from our value here. We could go absorber into grappling hook that will level up the action. That will level up the action and get, a clo get us closer to where we need to be. What is going on? This is a monkey deck. Huh? I honestly think. I could have denied that, I guess. I could have denied that, I guess. I'm gonna tell you what. You can thank me later. We are gonna kill this girl here. I think whatever the opponent does, this is the engine that makes them bigger. Yeah, so we have the way to block one monkey now. Well, I guess we can block two monkeys here. We have our action level up. Our Lee Sin is at 308. So we just need to get Lee Sin big enough for us to... I mean, opponent showed us that they have Absol Soul, right? So the opponent just showed us they have Absor Absor Soul. So they could technically... Yeah, they could technically keep themselves alive. That's the Eye of the Dragon. That's good. That's a good one. Now, I don't have a lot of spells, though, for this Eye of the Dragon to actually matter. No, the monkey out. Okay, so that's two damage burn per turn. Wow. What is going on? We definitely want a Swinging Glaive. It lets us advance our Warlord's Whore. Sapling Toss to challenge us. We'll go here. We might have to go up Sober right now just to get the blocker. Yeah, we might have to go up Sober right now to be honest. Yeah, I think we just go up Sober right now. Yeah, we go here. And uh, it sucks that we have to use it right now. Oh, perfect. We get to wait, I guess.
If we don't do it right now, opponent has three attackers. I guess we have this. We have this in worthy soul. Because I feel like the opponent had a way to remove one of my units. We can just commit lethal next turn, I guess, right? We have blockers for both. Opponent goes Onslaught of Shadows. Gets another two units. We go here to prevent any other shenanigans. We go down to. Why do we go down to? Three? Three damage. What is their game plan? A pleasure to see you, Master. What is their game plan here? Like, do we just OTK them then? Ah, why did we give spell shield to this when we knew we were gonna give spell shield anyways? Yeah, we knew we were gonna give spell shield no matter what. So I should have given this something else. I'm still too scared of like Absorb Soul or anything else that the opponent might have. Okay, but because we have the Rider Negation now, it makes things a little bit different. Because we're gonna go like this. It's gonna be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the least thing by himself is OTK in the opponent. We have the Rider Negation to back it up. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll pull. I guess we'll go like this. Um, We'll pull this guy, attack with the rest. We'll have Ryan Negation Body. This is 20 right here because of the overwhelm. So this is 20. One is going to have to have removal for their own unit. If they give me two spells at once, you get punished. And they got punished by the Ryan Negation, and here's the leasing of the thing. Interesting deck. Opponent is having fun. I feel bad. They're having fun, and here I am just like playing leasing. One turn, 20 to zero. That's a 20 to zero right there. <laughs> yeah, Pony's having fun. That feels bad. GG's. In this match, we're going against Rumble and Draven. So, the problem is how aggressive they are, right? So, this action helps. The grappling hook to kill a Draven is also not bad. Hmm. We... Okay, and the Eye of the Dragon helps a lot, right? Join the hunters, they said. Do we have to play this Bakai? Probably, to be honest. Yeah, let's just play it, just in case. I'm down to grab the Absolver. It's my time. I am gonna give them the, obviously, the opponent's gonna get the value here to be able to just um, do their thing. If they have Mystic, I'm gonna let them play the Mystic here. I'm okay with this Mystic. Squire, okay. I guess the Squire is also another punish. Because I need to level up this action to enable this Absolver. Now, I am able to go... They have two... They have two things, right? They have two uh, Blade Fragments. The party has a rat. I don't think it's safe for me to play Swinging Glaive. I think it has to be Eye of the Dragon. Force the opponent to give me that plus two fragment. If they get greedy here and don't give me the plus two fragment. Okay. Yeah, they got greedy. Like I said, if they get greedy and don't give me that fragment, I just go for the shape stun. So they got greedy and didn't want to give me the fragment. Uh, we can open attack to advance this a little bit further. Because the Swinging Glaive still gets punished by Mystic Shot or anything else. Now, I guess the opponent wants to play Rumble this turn, so maybe I should have, I could have just gone for it. Me too, kiddo. Me yeah, so here I am okay going Swinging Glaive. Knowing that this is going to level up next turn. Is that correct? If they have the Mystic, they have the Mystic Shot, I guess. And that means I lose the Absorber. But they haven't shown me the Mystic Shot this whole time. So now with action leveled up, it allows me to play this Lee Sin. And have Absorber enabled. If the opponent plays... 
In the current place, um... Hmm... Do, no, I'm still so far away from leveling this up. It's the only the, the only problem. I'm scared about willing death. If they play Rumble here, I'm scared about willing death, which makes me not wanna Time block for this. The money if they go like this, I'm fine giving up this action. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine giving up this action. We go play Relic of Power and also play the the thing on the on the Lee Sin. Yeah, so that, that works for me, right? Because now we can go Lee Sin, go Relic and go Lucky Fine on the Lee Sin. That triggers the Eye of the Dragon and now we have Lee Sin to get rid of anything that the opponent plays. Uh, we even get to play Spell Shield. So if it wasn't enough, now you're definitely gonna just get punished. Another action. We could also go Rider Negation, stop the burn from being a threat. But I kinda like the action. Kinda like the action here. We're gonna go Grappling Hook, Swinging Blade, right? So... I guess we can go like this. If I go Swinging Glaive on the action, the Punish here, I mean, yeah, I, like, the Punish on the Swinging Glaive here, it gets me to advance my thing faster, but if we just get punished by, like, a sober, uh, a plus, uh, sorry, blowback plus something else, so I probably just put the Swinging Glaive on the least in, attack with the, uh, with the Grappling Hook, and that would be enough, right? Because that's going to count as two, and the, gra and the grappling hook hit will also give me another uh, lucky find. And then we just keep attacking to the opponent. So just... Hey, welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games of action and Lee Sin. Uh, we got to see the... Ult yeah, we got to see not OTK exactly. But we got to see Lee Sin finishing the game twice. We got to see action putting in work, finishing games a couple times as well by himself. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's what you're going to do with this deck, right? The Swinging Glaive and the action is something that you guys are not new to. We've shown it multiple times in the channel here, where you just get so much value with this action and Swinging Glaive. And those zero mana spells allow you to just advance your action landmark by so much. And it also lets you slowly level up your Lee Sin. And then once you're ready, you're going to just have that Absolver ready to go. You're going to have that Rare Negation or that Benjamin Bastille to protect your units and just push a ton of damage into the opponent, potentially just OTKing them in just a single turn. So that's really all that you're looking to do right here with this champion. Nothing nothing else really that can be said. Um, now, we do play Out of the Dragon to kind of help us keep us alive in the early game. But aside from that, like... It's just a bunch of spells. It's just a bunch of spells trying to level up Lee Sin, trying to get value with the Saffron and Strike if we can, and just find that find a turn where we can just go all in for the big turn condition. Uh, now, in terms of Mulligan, it's action and Swinging Glaive, right? You want action, you want Swinging Glaive. If you're going against a more aggressive deck, then obviously you want to eye of the Dragon. So you're looking for one, two, or potentially three. If you really have a good enough hand that you, see, that you feel like you can keep Lee Sin, feel free to keep it. But otherwise, it's okay to kind of just send him back to your deck because we have a lot of predicts between the Bakai and the Action Landmark. And we also have Draw here in place your backs. So, Mulligan, Action, and the Dragon, Swinging Glaive. Ideally, turn 3, 4, 5, you have your Action or you have your Bagel on the field. You're able to put Swinging Glaive onto somebody or you're looking to kind of protect your health with these Bakais and other Dragons if possible. Like kind of how we did against the Jens uh, Lulu deck there. Then as you transition to turn 5, 6, 7, that's when you're looking for the opportunity to drop this Lee Sin and start getting value from the fact that he gets Challenger and Barrier anytime that you're using his spells. That way you can slowly remove the opponent's board and just put too much pressure into them. And that's really going to be the game plan with this deck until eventually you have enough mana that you can just go for a Absorber, have this big Overwhelm Lee Sin, and just push through the opponent's 20 health in one shot or whatever they have left. And yeah, that's it with this deck. I hope that you will enjoy today's games. If you did, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. 
We post card game videos every single day, mostly Legends of Terra and Dragon Ball Fusion World. Uh, you can also join our channel and become a member. We have two tiers, Gladiators and Champions, each one with the different perks. Check that out in the description below or in the join button next to the subscription button. You can also find us on Twitch at Twitch Tumble Stream every now and then, and you can also find us on Discord and Twitter. The links to those are both in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.